LHV Bergen Golf Fund's performance in November was plus 3.1% and in December additional plus 6.0%. In total this meant that 2016 performance was minus 1.0%. 2016 um, started actually on a very, very rough note. Um, oil prices made their multi-year lows in January when a barrel of oil went below $30. And actually this resulted um, pretty much in a panic sale across the uh, risk assets in, in the GCC region. Um, but after that, um, uh, from the end of January, uh, from the beginning of February, things actually started to turn better. And as you can see on the uh, oil price chart, uh, when oil traded at around $27 per barrel, uh, in the middle of January, then it finished at around $57 uh, by the end of December. Um, the move higher in the energy prices um, came on the back of OPEC decision to um, cut oil production for the first time uh, in eight years. Um, and actually the fact that OPEC decided to cut oil production um, uh, at the same time with non-OPEC countries, uh, so uh, this made this cut even, uh, even more meaningful uh, since uh, Russia uh, joined OPEC decision for the first time uh, in 15 years to cut oil production. And since the beginning of this year, uh, since January, 2% uh, of global oil supplies are being pulled off uh, from, from the global oil market and this will uh, certainly help to maintain today's uh, oil prices or, or even continue to push them higher. Um, this, of course, has a positive effect on uh, the uh, ability of the GCC governments uh, to spend. Uh, we have already uh, learned that the uh, Dubai government is expected to increase their spending in 2017 by 3%. Uh, Saudi Arabia will uh, pick up their spending by uh, 8%. On the next slide you can see um, LSG Bergen Gulf Fund's top 10 investments and all of their uh, individual valuation levels. We have 26 uh, different investments in the fund portfolio as of end of 2016. During the year we added um, five new names into the portfolio and we sold out uh, six uh, previous existing names. On an aggregate level, the fund portfolio traded at 10.1 times 12-month forward-looking earnings, 1.1 times uh, trailing book value and offered 4.4% dividend yield. And given the fact that we seem to be in a place where two years of headwind is being replaced by tailwind, then this valuation uh, definitely seems attractive. Thank you for listening and uh, I wish you a happy and prosperous New Year 2017.